Hi everyone, today I'm going to present the rules of the expectation operator. Now let x, y be random variables. A, B, they are constant. First rule I'm going to present is that the expectation of a constant is a constant. Next, the expectation of a number multiplied by a random variable is equal to that number times the expected value of the random variable. Uh, type. That's better. So the expected value of a constant times a random variable is equal to the constant times the expected value of the random variable. If we look at it, it's like that the constant here is dragged out of the expectation sign. Next, the expected value of a sum of two random variables is equal to the sum of the expected value of each random variable. Because of this condition, we say that the expectation operator is a linear operator. That means the expected value of a sum of things is equal to the sum of the individual expectations. Another way of putting that is that when you have got, when you're looking at the expected value of a sum of things, it simply you can simply say you take the expectation through the brackets. Now this holds if instead of a plus we have a minus. So we can have this. Um, to express plus and minus, that holds for plus and minus, we can do this plus, minus, plus, minus. So if we read the top row, that says expected value of x plus y is equal to the expected value of x plus the expected value of y. Or we can read it as the expected value of x minus y is equal to the expected value of x minus the expectation of y. Now let's use the results 1 to 3 to show this following result, which is also very useful. The expected value of a constant times a random variable plus another constant times another random variable is equal to this thing. OK, start with the left hand side. Since it's a linear operator, I can apply rule 3. So it's that saying, like, take the expectation through the brackets. Like so. By root 3, OK? Now, we can, when we're doing these uh, kinds of computation, we have to always look at the, each term and look within the expectation sign and see how we've got constants or random variables. OK. For this first term here, we've got a constant times a random variable. We know by rule 2 that we can pull out the constant. So this first term, I drag this a outside. It's going to be expected value of uh, a times expected value of x plus, and again, apply rule 2 to this term. b comes out now, expected value of y. And this is by rule 2. And we're done. OK, let's look at a simple example, one you might find in the homework. Expected value of x is 1, and we're given y is equal to 2 minus 3 times x. We want to find the expected value of y. OK, solution. Expected value of y is equal, right, we take the expectation of the left-hand side, we take the expectation of the right-hand side, now apply the rules. By rule three, it's a linear, oper it's a linear operator, so we'll take the expectation through the brackets. Now, expected value of a constant is a constant. It's two minus. Now we've got a expected value of a constant times a random variable. That constant can come out three times the expected value of x. And we'd stop there, except for we're told what the value of expected value of x is in the question. It's 1. So substitute that in. 3 times 1. That's minus 1. Finished.
Now I've shown the working full here, um, but if you're presenting this in piece of homework, you could probably omit this line. It'll go straight from here down to here. Okay, here's another example. Expected value of x is 0. The expected y is minus 2. We're told that z is equal to 1 plus z minus 2y. Find the expected value of z, or uh, expected value of z, as we would say in England. Okay, so what we want to do, since we want to find the expected value of a z, is take the expected value of this expression. If I take the expected value of the left-hand side, I do the same to the right-hand side, so I have this. Okay, this time I got three terms, but since the expected value is a linear operator, we simply um, take it right through the bracket, so we'll have three terms instead of the two terms that we've seen before. Expected value of 1 plus the expected value of x minus the expected value of 2 times y. Now, expected value of a constant is a constant plus the expected value of x. Uh, let's just write that down for now. We'll put the numbers all in at the end. Uh, we have a, a constant times a random variable here. We can take the constant out. Right, let's go back to this uh, line here. Notice that when I take the expectation through the bracket, I've got a minus here. That minus is preserved. Okay, finally, substituting the values. Uh, expected value of x, question tells us a 0. Minus the expected value of y is minus 2. Now, 2 times minus 2. Two minuses make a plus, so that is a 4. 4 plus, 1 plus 0 plus 4, 5. Finally, the expected value of x is 5, the expected value of x squared is 20, y is equal to x squared minus x, find the expected value of y. Okay, so um, don't let the x squared frighten you, it's just another, since x depends on, since x is a random variable, x squared will also be a random variable because it depends on x which is random okay solution expected value so you we know what we're doing by now expected value of y take the expectation of left hand side take the expectation of the right hand side of the expression take the expectation through the brackets x squared minus expected value of x and then substitute in the numbers expected value of x squared is 20 expected value of uh, x is 5, 15. So very easy, easy peasy. So these rules here are very easy to apply and um, these rules are very useful in statistics, especially this uh, very useful in kind of more um, algebraic statistics. Um, you do need to commit these to memory though and it's worth doing that because you're going to see it many, many times on a stats course. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Phil and I'm your statistics mentor.